Hi everyone, here is BridgeLink new product SU27 aircraft and it can be controlled by different transmitters. Optional BridgeLink transmitters include the TAS, TAFB, T16D, 89 Pro and 8010 Today I'm going to introduce how to use BridgeLink 8010 to control SU27. SU27 is installed with BridgeLink flight controller BIMDB. Here it is. And BIMDB supports SPAS and PPM signal. AT10 is compatible with R12DS, R12DSM, R9DS, R6DS, R6DSM receivers. And all these receivers support SPAS signal. So I take R12DSM as an example in this video. And here is BIMDB. SPAS or PPM channel is connected to the receiver, so I connect it to R12DSM. Make sure the polarity is not reversed. And channel 1 is connected to the left servo, channel 2 is connected to the right servo, and channel 3 to ESC. And the bending of R12DSM and AT10 has already been down. I'll show how to set the transmitter. Enter basic menu. Model type. And I select acrobatic model. And then reverse. And set throttle channel to reverse and other channels to normal. And then aux channel. Select a three position switch to channel 5. So I select switch C. Here it is. And also a two position switch to channel 7. And I select switch D. Here it is. And SU27 has three flight modes. And the flight modes are controlled by switch C. And push switch C up. It is stabilized mode. Push switch C in the center, gyro mode, and push switch C down, and manual mode. And when using other branch transmitters, please refer to the picture on the screen to switch flat modes. And the motor can be locked or unlocked by channel 7 in a transmitter. So I assign a two position switch, switch D. And I'll introduce the details of motor lock later. When using other brand transmitters, please refer to the picture on the screen to lock or unlock the motor with the switch of channel 7. And by the way, you do not need to set any mixing in the transmitter because there is already the mixing in BIMDB. If the mixing function is set in the transmitter, and there will be conflict mixing and affect the flight. After setting the transmitter, power on SU27. After powering on SU27, keep SU27 in a stationary state because the gyro of the flight controller will perform self-test. Keep it in the stationary state. The self-test is down now. Move the stick and the control surface moves, so the collection is successful. The motor can be locked or unlocked by channel 7, and I've already assigned the switch D to control it. And push switch D down. The motor is locked, and there is no throttle when you push the throttle stick. Push switch D up, and the motor is unlocked. And the motor emits two long beeps means the unlocking is successful. And remember, we must push the throttle stick to the lowest position when unlocking it. Switch D is pushed up and push the throttle, but there is no response of the throttle stick. So the safety unlock fails. And how to solve the problem? We can push switch D to the motor unlocking position. That is to say, push switch D up and then enter the basic menu and port and we can adjust the end point of throttle channel adjust the throttle travel from 
uh, 100 to 101, 2, 3. Until you hear the second long beep from the motor. It is 111 now, and we hear the second beep. Now push the throttle stick. We can see the motor is unlocked and the throttle works well now. So if you want to unlock the motor when using 8010 you can adjust the endpoint to 111. And when using transmitters from other brands, you can also refer to this method to solve the problem. FMDB needs to calibrate the attitudes to ensure the balance status. It is recommended to lift the aircraft nose with about 20 degree angle for beginners to ensure smooth flight. So I place a box under the nose like this. I push the left stick left and down and right stick right and down like this to calibrate the attitude. The green LED of the flight controller flashes once, mean the calibration is complete and the attitude calibration will be recorded by flight controller once it is complete with success. And we're using transmitters from other brands. You can follow the steps on the screen. After the attitude calibration is done and test the server face and toggle switch C to manual mode, like this. Then check the movement of the direction of the ailerons and tailerons. Take mode 2 for transmitter as an example and move the aileron stick to the left. You can see the left aileron and tailoron lift by the right aileron and tailoron pressed. And move the elevator stick down. You can see all the ailerons and tailerons lifted. So the movement of all the control surface is correct. When the movement direction of the ailerons and tailerons is inconsistent with the joystick movement, and you can adjust the server face by pressing the button on the front of BIMDB. Here it is. After all the test about, you can fly SU-27 outside. And that's all about how to use 8010 to control SU-27.